This is Cornelia Poliak. I'm a professor of medicine at uh, Harvard Medical School, Dana-Farber Cancer Institute, and we are studying breast cancer. We have a number of papers over the years. Um, some of our most cited papers are on the progression of tumors or characterization of the microenvironment, the uh, heterogeneity, of breast cancer, and um, more recently, in the last few years, we published uh, papers on new therapeutic targets like the BET inhibitor, BET uh, proteins in triple negative breast cancer, and also we developed some new technologies to look at uh, single cell, uh, you know, on sections, single cell methods to look at mutations, copy number variations of uh, in the breast tumor samples, and um, and then we have been also studying the immune, the role of the immune system in the progression. And um, 2017, we published a paper showing that uh, there is a progressive decline in uh, active immune cells in the, as the tumors progress from DCIS to invasive to metastatic disease, which I think uh, it's really uh, interesting and important uh, to see how those changes. So, I mean, that, those are just some of the more recent work that we published. I would say three things. Is one of them is if I see that we have some of our work um, leads to like clin clinical trials at least, and some of them hopefully will work. So we feel like we can make a change in the way uh, patients are treated. Um, the same for um, our studies of, uh, you know, high risk and um, prevention. I would like to see some of those uh, being translated. I'm, I'm very happy if people, other people have the same findings as we do because that kind of, uh, you know, validates us our results. And then the third one is what one of the awards I got from Dana-Farber is for mentoring because I feel like mentoring and, you know, training the next generation is actually one of the most important part of my job, and um, it's one of the most rewarding part that uh, um, I'm also proud of, you know, to, to, to train the new fellows who will continue the work we're doing. Do it without studying the patients. So I think it's really critical, and as I mentioned, one of the uh, reason I chose breast cancer is because we have access to normal early stage, later stage tumors um, that are really important because we want to study the patient. Uh, we use experimental models also, but I feel like, you know, for the discovery part of the projects, uh, we want to do something that we know is in the patient because that means that it's real. And, you know, I always say like the experiment has been done. We just have to figure out what, what was there, and then also, um, you know, we would like to, um, if we're doing experiment and experimental models, you never know what really happens. We can, we know what could happen, mm -hmm. but if you're studying the human tissues, then you see that that's what's happened there. So, so I think it's kind of, you know, different people have different approach to um, how they do research, but to me, like studying the patient is really important and that we cannot do it with other human tissues. And pretty much all of our projects is using human tissues uh, at different phases. Sometimes we use it for the discovery part. Sometimes we use it for the validation. Like for example, in the papers we recently published when we're doing like a CRISPR screen to discover new targets, but then we go back to the clinical samples uh, to validate those. In other cases, we do profiling of the clinical sample, patient sample, and then we do experiment in an experimental model to validate hypotheses that we build based on a tissue study. So it's, you know, I think, I don't think we have any project that would not use human tissues in one way or the other. First, we really appreciate uh, their participation and the donation to, to research because uh, we cannot make progress uh, without uh, having, uh, you know, studying the patient samples. And it's, um, I think it's really important because hopefully, you know, we can help them who donate the tissue. I mean, depending on what tissue they donate or we can help the next 
person. So um, we, that's the only way we can make progress. So we, we really um, appreciate it. And uh, it's really um, enabling us and everybody else to make progress in understanding the diseases.